I am Bill Rochelle, columnist and editor-at-large for American Bankruptcy Institute. Today I want to highlight what I believe to be the single most important unresolved question regarding Chapter 13. It's really very simple. Assume that the value of the debtor's home has risen during the Chapter 13 case. If the debtor sells the home or converts the case to Chapter 7, who gets the appreciated value? Does the debtor keep it or does it go to the creditors? Some courts say yes, the debtor gets to keep the appreciation. Others say no, that appreciated value goes to the creditors. In those courts, the effect is really rather dramatic. Because for one thing, if the appreciation goes to creditors, that debtor probably will not have enough money to buy another home, or certainly not a comparable home, somewhere else. What it means is that throughout the country right now, debtors are being told they really should not sell their homes during Chapter 13 because this issue is unresolved. And it could be that after they have sold the home, they find that they are saddled with decisions telling them that that increase in value has to go to their creditors. I would hope that the Congress would address this issue because, frankly, it's going to be several years before we have a split of circuits. And if the Supreme Court takes the question eventually, as they should, assuming a split of circuits, then that could be five to 10 years from now. And that's a long time for Chapter 13 debtors to be told that in essence, you got your, you're stuck with your home. You can't sell it even if you need to or must while you are in Chapter 13. By the way, this is an issue that former bankruptcy judge Keith London and I will cover at a panel at the National Association of Chapter 13 Trustees to be held in Austin, Texas in July. As I said, I'm Bill Rochelle, the editor-at-large for American Bankruptcy Institute. I will return same time next week with something interesting from the world of bankruptcy. Until then, be well, stay safe, good day.